Hey guys, it's your boy Vertus here and welcome back to the Adobe Muse Quick Start Guide. And in today's video, we are going to be working on another type of link and that type of link is going to be an anchor point. So what these anchor points do, they essentially allow us to link the user to a certain location on the web page. Having said that, so when the player, uh, when the user actually clicks that link, it will scroll down to the page and take them to exactly where they want to go. So it's a really cool little system. So let's just go ahead and dive in, get started and crack on. Why do I have a toothbrush in my hand? But yeah, let's go. Okay, cool. So let's go ahead and just dive straight into it. So the first thing that I need to do is I actually need to create a couple of anchor points that we can actually link the user to. So creating these anchor points is really simple and these are essentially the points where the user is going to be taken to. To create one, just go ahead and go over to the left hand side here, just click the anchor point thing and then you simply just click wherever you want to place it. So for example, if I wanted to, I could screw, I could put one all the way down here and then you just give it a name. This is just for referencing really. So when we're creating the anchor point, we know exactly which anchor point we are telling it to go to. So I'm just going to call this bottom for now, I guess. And if I can, and I'm going to scroll down here just to show you it working. I'm going to make this little box nice and big so it stretches out the page for us just like that and I'm going to grab this little anchor point. If you want to move it after you've placed it, you just click it, drag and drop it wherever you want it to go and I'm just going to place it all the way down at the bottom of the page here. So to link to this, we link it in the same way we would with any other hyperlink. We just go ahead and select the item that we want to link to. So for example, if I wanted to link this text here to it, so let's go ahead and select a piece of text. In this case, we're going to use the lower part of the lorem ipsum text and we're going to create a hyperlink. So over here where it says add or fill to hyperlinks, just go down here and then on the desktop or on the home page, you can see just underneath home, the page that you've created the anchor point on, you've got a little option for bottom. If we go ahead and click that, it will, you know, hyperlink this for us and it's going to look and it's all going to work. So it's as simple as that. Once again, if you wanted to, you could also change the hyperlink style, you know, just select the text that you've got hyperlinked, hit that little hyperlink button there, and then you can edit the link styles and all of that. But anyway, let's just go ahead and test this and make sure it's all working. So we uh, requires version. Okay, that's fine. So it says the link's not going to work just because of the text. We'll give it a go anyway, see what happens. Nope, that's not going to work. Okay, so this is entirely my bad. All you need to do here is just change the the font style. I've got it as a custom font at the moment, so it's not going to work. Um, basically, what this does, it essentially just um, yeah, so basically what Adobe Muse is going to do if you're not, if you're using a custom font is it's going to rasterize it so it turns it into an image at the point of, you know, turning it into a website, I guess. And as such, you can't link a specific part of that image. It's got to be the whole thing or nothing, really. So I've changed it to a standard font and this time it should work. So. There we go, it, text frame on home with text it requires restoration to to hyperlink. Okay. So. As you can see, that's still not working. It's rasterized it again. So let's just go ahead and make sure we've got a completely normal font this time. So this time I am literally just going to change it to Arial. I know that is a default font. I'm going to go ahead and press preview in a second. So I'm going to make sure this is all Arial. Press preview and we are all good to go. So now when I go ahead and click this link, it's going to scroll me down the page there. I didn't have to do a single thing. I just clicked it and it takes me down by itself and this is really great if you want to have a long website with lots of different elements scrolling all the way down and from the top you know you could create a little list of names or maybe a table of contents or something like that and then the player just hits it and it will scroll down automatically for them just like that it's real magic here anyway that is pretty much everything that I wanted to go over in this tutorial I hope you guys really enjoyed it and you know you can put this anchor point to great use as always guys thanks for watching make sure you share the video smack that like button and as always guys keep on creating see you next time peace out